down below, but I think we're supposed to be on number Yud. Uh, at any rate, we're reading the Pirish of the Talmud, which he says that Tatcha, the word Tatcha refers to Yichud the Bereshis, Van Nisim is Zivul the Yom Kippurim. So we went through all these ideas, and we're looking for number Yud. And I think we'll start from the uh, from where it says Va'amar Od, that he said furthermore. Uh, that's the second paragraph, or that's the paragraph on the page Tafresh Nun Zion, the top left side. Va'amar Od, Haina Dechzid Va'anisem as Nafsho Seichem Batesha, the Chodesh, this is number nine on the ninth day. That's interesting the way it says on the ninth day. It's really not the ninth day, it's the tenth day. Shahu Soda Zivug the Yom Kippurim, which is the secret of that Yichud. Why? Vezechet Shamba Varanisem Shuhu Maloshan Oina Ono Zivug. So his Vanisem is as this is the time of Yichud. Now, what's he saying here? Because on Yom Kippurim there is no Yichud, so what is he talking about here? He says Maloshan Ono Vezivug Vamar as Nafsho Sechem the Haino. What's Nafsho Sechem is plural. The hind of the Chava eat the self of the Bible. Shachamba Malchus Nikras Nefesh, Kanoida, because Malchus is called by the name Nefesh. And he said, Gam Nikra S, S Nafsho Sechem in plural. Okay, so he says that the word S is all at the top. Shachamba Malchus Kavula, because the Osius, the Heino, Me Aleph, Ad Tav, Anir Mazem, Bemilis S. So this is Malchus. So all of this Nefesh and so on and so forth. But Nefesh, remember, is in plural. And it's also S, which is for referring to Al Tatov, which is Malchus. V'amba Batesha, the Chodesh. And then he has his number nine. Beso the Yisod, which is the concept of the Yisod. So he wants to say Batesha, the Chodesh. And then the words Nafsha Sechem and S. Tesha, the Chodesh is referred to Yisod. So that's the male part. Which is the the uh, ninth sphere from the bottom to the top. Shalyadu Naaza called the Zivugan, but through this, all the Zivugan were named for Amba Be'erev. Then it says at night time, Besod HaZivug, which is the Sod of Yichud. The also, so he said, wait a minute, it says that he says that, the, one, just not so quickly, Shalyadu Naaza called the Zivugan. Then you have the word Be'erev. So he said the Erev does, because I think the word Erev here really, uh, are, you know, he says on the ninth day, and then he said the Erev, Erev is Lush and Yichud, but so does Zivu, because Erev is mixing. The Azmi is Arve Mechasadim, but Gavur is Yachad, that's when it, when they both come together. What time do we have to end today? 5.20? 6.20? Or what? Yeah. Okay. Okay, you can still hear me. Okay. Okay, let's go on. So it says, uh, but, uh, let's, 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 then we go down to the bottom and we'll look at number Yud. Number Yud. So he says this is so, I, I'm, the thing is, is that I'm, I'm really having trouble here with this. He's going on about this and he's been speaking th through various different things about this idea that it's a collection of Yichud, but it seems to be they have have problems because there is no yichud that takes place at that time. Is it mean to say that this is the beginning of a yichud, of the ultimate yichud, or what does he mean? All right, let me see if I can get down where I can read it better. This little print. So I still haven't gotten my glasses, but <laughs> new glasses yet. Okay. Uh, so is it Rebbe Firish Talmud? Cut. So here we are in the Rebbe Talmud. If Zel the Shana Bedilog, Umash Amar Chay Nechadech Siv Ran Nisem as Nafsho Sechem Betesha the Chodesh Be'erev. So we'll go over this again. Ki Noida he says, She Nefesh is he Nikros Malchus. So Nefesh and Malchus go together. Shel Olam Matzilos. So there we are at the very bottom of Olam Matzilos. Vukal Pulo Sechem Betzarok Nechi Yos Kedai Lachaver Itas Babaylo. So what's the all the work of the what of the nefesh? He says it is to make a yichud. Vagam tevis s. So we want to say s mora al hashchina really refers to the shchina shuhu beklala beklala me alaf av tov. Okay, this he said previously. So this is a further quote. If he nechad bechavaranisa mit nasho sechem, then he gets to the word inui who malashin oina. He says it's not affliction; it's really oina, which is lashon yichud. 
who so you so so he wants to say let me get the words right that on the ninth day of the month uh who sowed you sowed so the ninth <coughs> that's why this word ninth is here instead of the word tenth uh but on the ninth you should this is the time what he's talking about this is the time of yehud we understand uh, that Yisod is number nine, so now you have nine and ten. Ki kol chazibuka b'tzarek lechiyos al yedecha Yisod. V'amba be'erev, and there was erev mean ki yichod the teferes v'cha Yisod the nikra erev. So this is really pretty much a repeat what he said up above. So let's say there's something new here. He said b'zecha v'cha Yisod. Uh, so this is the secret of what we saw over there in Erevin. So in everything, you're going to have this shetuf and this this mixture together. Ki call, ki call, ki call. The word call, the call is another word for yisod because it's where the original pool takes place. Who mitzarah so what you're mixing here, why we have the word Erev, Erev to tell you that at this time that you're mixing the the uh, the Chassadim and the Gevuras, and then after that comes the ultimate Shikhot, Adkan, Ayin, Sham, Kanira, Chaser, so some of this is missing, he says, Sham, uh, let's go on. So a little bit more, and let's see, what time is it? Okay, so we still have a little bit of time. So he says, so let's go on. We're, um, okay, we're, excuse me, we're at the bottom of that same page uh, on, in the column on the left. He said, but often Nosef, another, another way of looking at this, he said, that phrase, he said, it's on the ninth day of the month. Who so the teshu the guni dikna the zeranpin? So this is another idea. It's really talking about the tikkunim of zeranpin. Be erev he said a bahu erev yud gimel to guni dikna the erek anpin. So that's missing it in with the thirteen that come from erek anpin. So a vayachad im teshu the guni dikna of the zeranpin and you're mixing together with the nine. What do you get out of that? Because that then you got now twenty two tikkunim of Eric Anpin and Zeranpin. That's the word as. It's because the Yichud is aroused. with the Dikna of Zeranpin. So uh he says that is how the Yichud is aroused. So once again, um like I say, I guess maybe I'm misunderstanding this, uh, uh, where he's talking about that this, this, this language, what's the basic quote? He says, Tad Sheha Aretz, uh, so Tad really refers, all this is, is about a Yichud, Vanisem Zivug, uh, the Yom Kippurim. There's some kind of a Yichud in Yom Kippurim. I'm not sure which one he was talking about, because I thought that this is the time where there is no Yichud. But, uh, what does he mean? So it's got me a little thrown. So he says, Rebbe Pirisha Talmud, I'm on number Yud Aleph down below. Bezel the Shon of Ehinech of Bishas of Zivug, who sowed the Torah's Emes. It's the truth of the true Torah. He said, What does this mean? Kimashu Hoya Rak Teshu Tekunde Begaminion Emes, in which you had originally Kamis uh, Barkatan. So Emes is Aleph, is, is one, four, and four again, which is a number nine. So again, going backwards, Kimasha Hoya Rak Teshu Tikunin Kaminian Emis. So we wanted to see, it's, it's called the Taurus Emis. It's really referred to number nine. Where's this nine found? The nine is found in Yisod. So he says he commits Berkat, and it comes out to be nine. Naasa Taurus, so it comes out to be Taurus. What is it? Kaminian Kaf Base Osius Taurus, so it's like the 22 letters that are found and found in the Torah. The Hainu Kaf based Tikuni Tikuni Tikunim, and the Teisha. So he says uh, the twenty-two Tikunim, Teisha Viyud Gimel, Bezechav Shemar Hainu Dechsev, and this is what it wrote like this: Van Nisem, and you should afflict yourself. Shuhu Lashon Oino. Oino means what? 
as Nafsho Seichem Hu Malchus, Nefesh David. So he says the Nefesh of David, I guess he means that's the basic foundation at the bottom of everything. So he says, Vagam Tebis S, Mora Al Malchus is really teaching us about Malchus, all of the Toph. He said, teaches about Malchus, Vamba Batesha the Chodesh, and then he comes back, he says, there's on the ninth day of the month, Ki Kachol Sham Kavar Marnal the Mala, we already said, Shayud Gimel Tikuni Rabid Tikuni Dikna, Haim Besod Yud Gimel Chodashim, they're the secret of the 12 months. So he says, uh, uh, the thirteenth month. I'm sorry. He says once again. He says, uh, uh, "Yud gimel tikuni dikna heim besod yud gimel chadashim." Thirteen months. So what is that? Where does that come from? Im came teisha tikuni rabedizer anpin. Romans the masha amba betesha the chodesh is really a reference to that idea. I don't know what the month's idea has here. I'm trying to find it. The amba be'erev, and so we say at night time. So the and one of the pasuk says be'erev, kisham is arvin because it really means a mixture, and this is what we want to talk about is going on, which is the teisha tikuni the dikna im yud gimel tikuni dikna ben the asim bein the kol kof beis kenisker v'habein zehetiv. So God should bless us. We should understand all of this. Um, so what, what what I'm trying to get at is, is I guess he's trying to say you have a mixture, uh, you have mixture here, right? But what does this have to do with the two beards? Exactly how, what are we talking about? We're talking about on, on this ninth day or this era of Yom Kippur, uh, you're going to have some kind of, uh, a mixture is going to take place. Uh, so this seems like it's really off, uh, off the path of thinking to me. I mean, they're thinking that Yom Kippur is the day of Anisa and Nasho Sechem is, is that you have to hold yourself back. So here he's talking about Yichud and I just don't know where to apply it. Um, uh, the next piece is a very long, uh, a very long, uh, I don't think I have time to go into that. And so therefore, I think we're going to stop this, this here and go over to, uh, I guess we'll do Pesach, uh, on this. Sh-